Hey everybody, this is Sean from the Adobe Advertising Cloud team. Today I'll be taking you through creating Advertising Cloud Alerts with Adobe Analytics. For the learning objective today, we will be explaining Adobe Analytics Alerts, how we can create alerts from Advertising Cloud Dimensions, and then we will review some use cases. Quick introduction on Adobe Analytics Alerts. We'll be using the Alert Builder feature with an analysis workspace. This allows us to create alerts based off of thresholds or percent changes. And since we're using the Analytics for Ad Cloud integration, we can use our advertising cloud data to monitor our campaigns so that we can get email alerts if a daily anomaly occurs or if our main KPI drops or increases or if our spend changes drastically week over week, we will receive an email that will let you know that these things have occurred. So let's jump into Analysis Workspace and we can go over this. Now that I'm within Adobe Analytics, I've set up a workspace environment to look at three main metrics for my AdCloud DSP, online revenue, AdCloud cost, and my package pacing. So what I wanna do from here is I wanna monitor these three metrics. I want to make sure if any drastic changes happen with them, I will be alerted at an occurrence. So maybe weekly or daily, I will receive an email. Let me know that a change has occurred. To do this, we can simply highlight the metric, right click it and say, create an alert. This will open up our alert builder uh, menu and we can create a title saying revenue change and give it a description, give it a time granularity. So if a revenue change happens over the day, I wanna get an alert or over the week, I wanna get an alert. So let's change this to weekly. Recipients will be you know, yourself or whoever is part of your team that you would like to receive this alert. And then we can start to build the logic from it. From what we did with the previous screen, we created the logic already, but we can update this. So maybe you want the ad platform to be ad cloud DSP but you also want the ad type to be your standard display. So you can update this on the fly, say I want the standard display. And if you're interested in a particular product, say I wanna make sure that from my DSP, from this ad type, and I wanna see if my particular product is dropping week over week with revenue. So I can maybe change this to a particular one, maybe a winter flannel. Now I have an alert for online revenue for my DSP, for the ad type standard display and for product name. And it will let me know in this top right preview how many times this has happened in the past. So it gives you an idea for how often you might expect to receive an email for this. Now I can save this alert and start to build some other ones. So let's save this, go back into our workspace environment and build one for costs. So now if I wanna build a spend alert letting me know any time that spend has dropped or increased week over week, I can do that as well, right? So we did that right click, we create an alert, it creates the Boolean logic for us. I can say weekly spend alert and change this to weekly. This time I'm gonna change this to a changes by. So anytime I see spend change week over week for the DSP, I wanna make sure I'm getting an alert for it. Uh, you can change it for the platform. You can add in your campaigns or your placements or your package pacing. This way the, you'll be up to date and nothing will surprise you anytime there's a large drop in spend. So we can save this as well. And now we have two alerts ready to go and be, to be sent to us anytime these thresholds are met. So now let's go into our tools section or our component section. We'll go to alerts. We will discard those changes and then we will look at the two alerts we created. So now that we have two alerts created, we can create more. You are not limited by the alerts you can have. So whatever was is in your Adobe Analytics in terms of ad cloud data or analytics data, be sure to play around with what you need. You can customize it to fit your needs. In this way, you will never be surprised by anything happening with your ad cloud data. Benefits for using intelligent alerts with your advertising cloud data is that you'll be able to monitor your performance, you'll be able to customize alerts to your needs, and you will be able to track errors and performance drops, so you'll never be surprised again. So in summary, we are now able to explain what an intelligent alert is. We are able to create these with advertising cloud data, and we went over a couple of use cases to get you started. One thing to keep in mind is that this is very customizable to your needs. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're tracking, 
If you've seen a performance dip or drop before, you can make sure you can create alert off it so that you won't be surprised off of this data again.